This is our community. Amen. And we want justice for Sonia Massey. Justice for Sonia Massey. Yes. Growing calls for justice and accountability tonight in central Illinois following the release of body cam footage showing the moments an Illinois sheriff's deputy shot and killed a black woman inside her own home. Tonight, that deputy is charged with murder. Thank you for joining us. I'm Kelly Jackson. And I'm Mike Bush. 36-year-old Sonia Massey called police earlier this month about a possible intruder in her home. So that was, it was this month. Home in Sangamon County. It's getting attention because, you know, the body cam footage came out. Near Springfield. What happened next and was recorded on the body cameras of two deputies is disturbing. These types of videos are hard to watch. However, it's important that we share it with you so you have the whole story. We want to make sure you have proper warning on what you're about to see. Five in your sides, Brent Solomon joins us now to break down what happened, Brent. So they got the call because, right, she said it was a suspected prowler or somebody that was breaking into stuff. They saw a car that was broken into. So they're walking around, looking around. Help with. Nothing. I just wanted to see if I could help you. What do you want to help with? Oh, well, we checked your yard. We walked around the whole block. We didn't see anybody. Uh -huh. right. You know, we don't. I mean, we checked the whole area. There's nobody out walking around. I know, y'all. Please, God. Please, God. I'm trying to get help, y'all. But... What do you need help with? Nothing. I just... Please, God. Please, God. Please. I don't know what to do. Do with what? Huh? What do you need help with? Nothing. I just wanted to see if I could help me. What do you want help with? Huh? What do you want help with? Uh, I heard somebody outside. Yeah, we checked your house. We checked your backyard. I walked all the way through all these backyards. I wonder why she's saying nothing for her. Hmm. We checked your front yard. We didn't see nobody. Yeah, so nobody's out here. You didn't see anybody? Nope. Nope. Oh. Checked the whole area. It took you so long to answer the door. Oh, I was trying to put on some clothes there. I'm sorry. I was trying to get I got you. All okay. right. Is there anything else we can do for you? Huh? Is there anything else I can do for you? Uh, no, sir. Okay. Okay. Sorry. All right. You doing all right mentally? Yes. Sure? My medicine and stuff. Okay. All right. Okay. See, I didn't see this beginning part. I only saw, you know, when they were inside and they shot her. It's really tough when things happen. Cause you never know when a, when something is gonna happen for real. You know what I mean? And there's always moments leading up to an event happening where it's like, okay, boom. If this just went a different way, it wouldn't have happened how it happened. And this is that moment. Okay, well, you don't need any help. Okay, bye. That's it. That could have been it. But unfortunately, it keeps going. All right. That's not your black car, though. The SUV. Whose is it? You don't know? Someone just parked it in your driveway? Mm -hmm. They brought it to my driveway. And just left it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. Okay, let's skip ahead. Okay, so they went inside. Kind of messy, bro. Yeah, I need. Um, I got the sheriff's department here, but I was coming for help from y'all. They're here in my house right now. Okay, I'll let you go. You talk to them. No, well, hold on. Wait a second. Wait a second, sir. Okay. You can hang up, Todd. Hold on. You're there with the deputy, correct? No, hold on. Okay. last name. Okay. You're not in trouble. I just need to Massey. Attach. Huh? Massey. Yeah. What you have an ID that made things so much easier. I, I just need to get just driver's license will do and I'll get out of your hair. I want to show y'all my paperwork. I will what? get your paperwork. What paperwork? Okay. I got some paperwork. Well just get your ID real well, let's quick. Get your ID. You know I'm thinking that there's something wrong with this lady. Like like something is off with her. But 
obviously nothing that warranted what's about to happen. Um, but there's a lot of, you know, the house is kind of messy. It seems like she's by herself. She said that she took her medicine. She's kind of saying, like, giving conflicting answers. Oh, I don't know. They just left that car there. Oh, yeah, my car happened earlier. You know what I mean? Which is it's, it's strange. I don't know. First and then one task at a time. But now we'll never fucking know because... Okay. Here, grab your ID for me. Uh-huh. Okay. Your ID. One task at a time. So let's do an ID and then you can dig around for your uh, paperwork. Yeah, someone should got like ADHD, uh, right some there. other shit too. Check on her. Oh, we don't need a fire while we're here. Right. Okay. Okay. Let me see. Okay. 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 It's, that didn't make any sense, bro. As you can see, that don't make no. There's no. Yeah, like, what can I say? That shit was stupid. She didn't make any motion like she was about to throw the pot. They were a good distance away from her, anyways. So even if she did throw the pot, it's not gonna fucking touch them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And anyway, why would you take out your gun and be like, not your taser? And you just shot her. All she said was, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. So whatever she said, that must have upset his demons inside or something. Because why would you immediately just go, go to shooting? Drop the fucking pot. Drop the pot. Right, we got a headshot wounded the female. Headshot with the female, 1078. Look at this, bro. Huh? Hot steaming water. Hot steaming water. Hot steaming water. Hot steaming water. Yeah. Hot steaming water. Hot steaming water. Hot steaming water. Hot steaming water. I wonder how long this dude has been a cop, bro. I'm gonna we're gonna read some articles to see like it, how much information they say about this dude. Obviously, he was already charged, so they didn't waste no time with that, which is good. But this is literally crazy. Like, what? How did it escalate? In the water. Like his hands right on the. Okay, I'm sorry. Drop the fucking pot. The fucking drop the fucking pot. And of course, the other cop just follows through because, like, I seen with police, like, if one cop does something, the other one is gonna—they're gonna stay on on call with each other, type shit. You know what I'm saying? That's what I've seen. I haven't seen too much of—I only saw—I saw one video one time, recently, but I haven't seen too much of in person or in on these videos that go viral, or whatever, of one cop, you know, standing up to the other cop and telling him, "Hey, bro, chill out, bro, you tripping." You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know why they—they, they, I never see de-escalation. Of course, this is not. How every situation goes, obviously. But we're talking about the ones that go wrong. And this is one of the ones that went completely, completely wrong. It was completely avoidable. This dude probably should never have been a police if this is what he's doing. It makes you wonder how many other times he's done something where he escalated in a situation. Alright, alright, alright. So what happens in the rest of the video is that the partner whose body cam we're watching on, because this guy, the shooter, he his wasn't on. He turned it on right after. Fuck. He just I turned on, it on. on. I'm gonna go get my kit. You, you see that? I'm gonna go get my kit to go try to help. Oh no, she's done, bro. It's a headshot, bro. She's done. She's done. Get it, but that's a headshot. You can still get it, but it's a headshot. It's almost, it's almost like I don't want to say bragging about it, but almost like he's like, bro, don't, don't. There's no point in trying to save her life, bro. I killed her. Come on, bro. And, and now they just stand there, still holding the guns, pointing the guns at the lady, at the dead lady, Fuck. dying. She's not even dead yet, she's dying. Dude, yeah, I'm not taking fucking glory out of her fucking head. Hey, look, it fucking came right to our feet, too. As you see, he is panicking now, because he knows he fucked up, and he's trying to say on camera, justification. Well, I'm not going to get hit with boiling hot water. She made no motion in throwing the water. She said, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. 
damn it. Notice the partner is not saying nothing. Fuck. God damn it. Except for fuck. Damn. Fuck. Damn. Let her fucking just. God, you know what you do, man. Fuck. Oh my god, bro. I hate dudes like him, bro. They got a 52 in route? Yeah. Better fucking not. I swear to God, I'll fucking shoot Drake in your fucking face. Oh, that's his camera. This is his camera. Oh my gosh, bro. I thought his wasn't on. Drake in your fucking face. Okay, I'm sorry. Drop the fucking drop. 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 Drop the fucking Okay, so she did pick it up. So she put it down and went down. Then she came back up and picked up the pot. You can see it. Again, that pot was not going to fucking reach them. And a gun is not the response to shooting. A, a gun is not a response to a pot of water. A pot of boiling water. That's not a response. If you're not in imminent, you're not in imminent danger. Look at that. Look at her. Look at all the stuff that's there. Okay, because look at it. The red thing that you see, it look like, 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 mitts, right? And you oh, see that the pot is right here. And let me use my, I'll use my finger. You can't see my finger. The pot is right here. Can drop the fucking pot. Drop. See, when she comes up, she picks it up right here. She's, that shit is not going nowhere. And they shot her. But again, the cop escalated. You better fucking not. She didn't say she's gonna throw it at you. Drop the fucking pot. She didn't even make a threat. Bring the EMS now. We got a headshot wound to the female. Headshot wound to the female. 1078. Fuck. I was all cut, dude. I, dude, I'm not taking fucking boiling water to the fucking head. And look, it's July fucking 6. right to our feet, too. And. What else do we do? Yeah, yeah. They got a 52 in route? Yeah, 1078. 318, she's still breathing, but she's losing a lot of blood from the head. She's still alive, dying. And they're just standing there. They didn't want to look at her. I mean, I mean, there's not much we can do. Look at him. Fuck. Nigga, that's your fault. Your life is over. This is your fault. We got any call history with her being 1096? He's trying to come up with with, with with reasons and justifications in his head. Cause he know he's fucked. He's fucked. His life is fucked forever now. I will explain why. Look at that. He didn't even go get the med kit. Negative. He's taking a sweet time. She's in the kitchen. Listen to the tone of his voice. I'm glad nobody else is in the house, bro. Just, just, Sergeant, who, uh, no. Let's just chill out out here. Just Sarge for right now. Are you guys secure? Yeah, we're secure. No, it's just her in the house. She's 1096. Damn, a lot of them pulled up, boy. Damn. One, two, three, four, five, six. Anything we can do for? 
All right, I'm not even gonna waste my med stuff then. So waste you wanna run down real quick? Nope, not yet. All right. All right. House is cleared. She was the only one. Where's she going? No, she had a boiling water and came at me with boiling water. You shot her? Yeah. She said she was gonna rebuke me in the name of Jesus and came out with boiling water. That's what all this is. I was standing right here. All right. And that's where. Where's the gun? Cause he know, like, okay, something it must have been really bad. She must have been trying to kill y'all for real. No, it's boiling water. <laughs> He's landed. <clears throat> what do y'all need from us? Just nothing right now. Just hang out out there for me. Yeah. Thank you. <clears throat> I need uh, cranes and put them around the place of the house if you guys can. But other than that, that's not good. Thank you, suspect. That's a lot of cops that put up. Damn. I didn't know yeah. what happened. They are probably, they're probably like, yo, we put up. They thought it was like a serious issue. We put up for some bullshit. He killed some, he killed some lady for no reason. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. Uh, yeah, I'm good. This fucking bitch is crazy. This, this fucking bitch is crazy. Uh, he's got tape. I, I think I got a roll. I got something coming up. Across the front here, where do you want it? I just around the house. Look at him. He knows he's fucked. He's trying to keep busy. Uh, we're just to the garbage cans. Yeah. Send it out. Yeah. Where's he at? Yeah. Where's he at? Inside with me. He's good. I'm sorry, I'm really intrigued in the aftermath too. Yeah. <clears throat> That's fine for me. I didn't know, I didn't know it was. No, dude, it was good. I, it fucking happened so goddamn quick that we didn't have time to fucking call shit out that it was me and. Yeah, that's how we're going to figure out make sure we need to look for something. No, we're good. I think she set it up on purpose. So, this is what it is. Set it up on purpose? Yeah, choice. Don't go in. Yeah. Yeah. I have choice. Try not to move that bag. We'll take her out on a backboard so you don't have to move that. Yeah, he's good, dude. I made sure he was good. Yeah, he was here for the whole thing. No, no, no. no. We barely got missed. <laughs> barely got missed. Yo, I hate these niggas, bro. I hate niggas like him. Niggas like him is so evil, bro. You know you fucked up, and you just, you're trying to cope. Like, like. Hey, guys, grab your backboard. Bro, this shit is so crazy. Yeah. Alright, All right, before I go back to that news report and articles, let me read the comments real quick. This is on the police activity. That's the channel. This is the type of stuff that causes people to think all cops, cops are bad. Yelling, drop the fucking pot to a lady dead on the ground is crazy. This guy sounds like a cop that didn't want to do his job and was agitated to begin with. It's so surreal how nonchalant dismissive that cop is. If he didn't just shoot him in the face, as if he didn't just shoot him in the face over a pot of water. No remorse, no crime, just cursing him out in an irritated fashion. Him referring to her as crazy after he murdered her was zero remorse disgusting. The officers should have cleared the call as soon as they determined there was no one in our property. They hung around too long for no reason. As soon as he said, shoot you in the head, before shooting, he lost all credibility. The way he immediately tries to lie to himself that he didn't just murder the woman is insane. Yep. This woman is called police for help, was instructed by her to turn off the stove with the water, picked up the water, pour it out, put the pot down as soon as she was told to, and apologized for her joke, and was then shot while crouching down on the ground. Not only was she shot, but the officer told his partner not to render aid. Talked about it being a headshot like he was playing Call of Duty, and then called her a crazy bitch. Yeah. This cop... Had been fired or forced to resign from at least five. Di oh shit! We're gonna look this up. Hold on. This cop had been fired or forced to resign from at least five different police departments prior to ending up with Sangamon County Sheriff's Department. 
Imagine him, imagine hiring a surgeon or airline pilot that had been fired multiple times prior. That would be unthinkable. Mm. The deputy who opened fire is also charged with aggravated battery with a firearm and official misconduct. Moments after police released that video, I got in contact with retired St. Louis County Police Chief Tim Fitch to get reaction. Very sad for the family uh, was my first response and apologetic for the police profession to see this go so bad so quickly. Uh, it was a surprise to see it go. As you saw, it was literally seconds he was laughing with her. Seconds later, he was shooting her. Um, and there's a lot of unanswered questions after seeing that video. The former chief is a consultant for other police departments. He makes it clear he's pro-policing. He's speaking out to say that what you saw in that video is not the standard. This is an anomaly. This isn't what normally happens in these situations. And when these things do happen, like George Floyd and this situation and others, it makes big news and it should because it's an anomaly. This shouldn't be happening. So if this ever becomes routine, and it doesn't make the news, that's when I'd be concerned. Massey was not armed. None of the officers who responded were hurt. 36-year-old Sonia Massey was at home alone when she thought she heard an intruder outside her house, so she called 911. You're clear that I'm going to both stack to a prowler call. Here's noises outside the house. Wouldn't answer questions on that one. Attorneys for the family say instead of receiving help, she was killed at the hands of the very people she called to help her. Units on scene are 1078 shots fired. The Sagamon County Sheriff's deputy claims Massey was going to throw boiling water at them. She says her last words, sorry, sir, I'm sorry. She ducks, and when she stands back up, he shoots her in the face. Sonia Massey's father says she struggled yep. with her mental health, but had so much life left to live. The only time I'm going to see my baby again is when I leave this world. Family and friends say her senseless murder has outraged and rocked the community to its core. We asked for transparency, but it saddens me that you know, the whole world gets to see her not only lose her life, but her dignity as well. And it just never should have. That is tough. That is the tough side of it. You know what I'm saying? You want to know what happens, but it's unfortunate because random people like me that got nothing to do with this shit at all is sitting here and watching somebody that they love die over and over again. Happened, she should still be here. Do you think that now that this happened, that people are going to be even more scared to call the police? We've been scared. We've, we've, we've been scared. Um, even before they was in her house, she told them that she was scared. So they marched for justice. Organizers of the rally brought people together here in Comer Cox Park to fight for justice for Sonia Massey in a peaceful way. They say returning violence with violence is not the answer. We had a lot of people standing behind us in solidarity with her family. So I'm really happy that everybody came out. Um, we're having free haircuts. We got about five barbers doing free haircuts. Um, we have two face painters and free food for the community. Advocates even started a petition calling on officials to investigate the sheriff and his entire advocates even started a petition calling on officials to investigate the sheriff and his entire office. We have to find out why we have such a man in office that cares nothing about these smaller communities. That's facts. Like that comment said, and we're gonna I'm gonna look for an article to see if they really talk about that. If he was fired from five different police departments, this motherfucker is crazy. He's tripping. And, you know, the behavior that we just saw on camera is probably why. That's probably why he was fired. Because these lives do matter. Reporting in Springfield, Laura Barczewski. Are being heard in Washington, D.C. Congresswoman Nikki Budzinski, who represents Sangamon County, called for accountability on the floor of the U.S. House of Representatives. Like everyone who has seen the body camera footage on her final moments, I am shocked, horrified, and heartbroken. This was an appalling act of senseless violence that strikes at the core of our humanity. U.S. Senator Tammy Duckworth of Illinois released a statement tonight after watching the body cam footage. It reads in part, this sort of Duckworth. tragedy at the hands of law she enforcement is all too common for black Americans. Also released a statement saying, quote, I commend the swift actions that were taken by the Springfield State's Attorney's Office. While we wait for the case to be prosecuted, let us pray to comfort the grieving. He's also calling on Congress to pass the George Floyd Justice and Police Act 
now. The shooting, the circumstances, and the video is difficult to process. We talked with a trauma therapist who says it can create a range of emotions and trigger press. All right, all right. Go talk to your therapist. <laughs> but yeah, though, no, nah, this shit is tough. This shit is really tough. Um, and it's very upsetting. Uh, and I hate having to talk about, like, bad news, negative news. But, you know, it's reality. You know what I'm saying? There's something that was, is, is, is really bad that this happened. Okay, let's see if they talk about the officer, Sean Grayson. A review of the Illinois State Police investigation into the shooting does not support a finding that Grayson was justified in his use of deadly force. So they didn't find anything that justified his use of, of his gun. Court document filed by the state last week, prosecutor said a use of force expert had reviewed the body cam footage and concluded the use of deadly force was not justified. The expert likened the scenario to an officer intentionally and unnecessarily putting himself in front of a moving vehicle and the justified use of force because of fear of being struck. Mm. The sheriff's office said it, it has fired Grayson. It is clear that Deputy did not act as trained or in accordance with our standards. Effective policing comes down to good judgment in highly stressful situations. Although being doused with scalding water could warrant the use of deadly force by an officer to stop threat. In the video, we certainly don't see officers attempting alternative options just moving away and creating distance between themselves and Macy. There are a number of ways to avoid this startling, this startling better tactics from the outset. But even if you forgive that and limit the observation to the last few seconds, there are still options of a calmer dialogue, more distance between the subject, and then a taser rather than a firearm. Yep. Grayson had worked at six different agencies in Illinois since 2020. Since 2020? Six different places in four years? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're insane. You're insane. Why the fuck are they hiring him? He began working part-time at the Pawnee Police Department in 20, August 2020, then moved to the Kincaid and Verdon Police Department before taking a full-time work with the Auburn Police Department, then the Logan County. Okay, da-da. It is unclear why Grayson changed jobs so frequently and seen as reached out to him. Okay. So it's unknown why he changed jobs so much. They don't know if he got fired or if he let, was let go or if he quit. So CNN is trying to find out. The training and standards board records show his law enforcement certification has since been suspended. A petition called for investigating why hired Grayson was circulated at a, at a March barbecue. Yep. Heartbroken for her children and her entire family. I wonder how many kids she got. Whew. Yeah, it's tough. And this is his mugshot. Um, where is it? Here it is. Nazi fucking murderer. So, do I know that he's a Nazi? I don't know. I have no idea. They zoomed in on his tattoo. I see uh, two skulls. I, but people have skull tattoos all the time. So I don't know if that specifically, and it's really blurry, so I don't know what's under the skulls. So I have no way of knowing, I'm not going to call him a Nazi, because I have no way of knowing if he's actually a Nazi or white supremacist. Because you can be a, a crazy, uh, emotionless, empathyless murderer and not be racist. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You could be a racist and not be a murderer, you could be a murderer and not be racist, or you could be a racist murderer. I know he's a murderer. I don't know if he's racist. So I'm not going to go using that term just yet. But I know this motherfucker is crazy and he needs a... To be honest, I wouldn't be... When I see stuff like this, bro, you know, I wouldn't be mad if... If her people found his ass and they whooped his ass bad, senselessly. You know what I'm saying? Like, stuff like that. You know? I can't, you know, I can't blame somebody if they did that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not... I'm not endorsing violence. I'm not pushing for violence, right? Because some people take shit like that too far, um, like the shit with Trump and all that, and like politicians. But this is somebody, somebody killed somebody's family member. If a family member went and got they get back on his ass, I'm not going to feel bad. That's just the reality, because if somebody did that to me, you know what I mean? He shot him in the head, other guy too. Other guy too, what do those tattoos mean though? Veg Visor is among the most popular tattoo designs. Don't muddy the waters. That's no Sonnenrad. What the fuck is Sonnenrad? What is that? It still doesn't help his image since neo Nazis have been trying to act like Norse paganism is symbolic to their cause in some way. Lots of proud boy tattoos wearing tattoos of runes and Norse imagery. Those are runes. He's likely honoring his ancestors. But Project 2025 was supposed to begin after Trump won the election? What? What does this have to do with Project 2025? Let's see some more comments. Love the comments about the folks who are screaming tats don't mean he's a Nazi instead of being horrified over the clear murder. I mean, you can still be horrified and you can still make the comment that ah, there's so many things that people say when stuff like this happens. Like, bro, they're correcting because that that's that doesn't mean nothing, okay? None of these tattoos you could not see and you're reaching too far. The halo's getting, getting ready to suit. Yeah, so 
I'm not gonna say that he's a Nazi. Matter of fact, let me unlike that. Um. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I like that. I think I just, yeah, no, cause I saw the mugshot, so I liked it. That's why. Um, but I don't know that he's a Nazi. I'm not gonna say that, cause they use stuff like this to try to push agendas. Okay, and I don't like that. All right. I remember I, I reacted to that song that with Lil Yachty and J Cole. Even J Cole has said something like that. How they, how they be trying to use, uh, police killings against black people. They try to use it for political agendas and shit like that, which is true. They do try to use that. It's something I talk about often. On I've talked about it plenty of times in general. How they try to emotionally guilt trip you into falling in line with whatever they want to do. This was wrong. Okay, this shooting was wrong. It was tragic. It was terrible, and I'm glad that he was charged. What they say he was charged with? He was charged with. He was fired, and now he's charged. He faced, if, if convicted, he faces prison sentences of 45 years to life for murder, six to 30 years for battery, and two to five years for misconduct. His lawyer, Daniel, declined comment. Huh? In 10 days, they convened convened a grand jury. They completed an investigation. They arrested and got fired. That's unheard of. Yeah. So that's good, you know. Oh, my camera getting hot. I'm going to have to turn it off soon. You know, they did good. A cop did some evil shit. They investigated. They viewed the video. They fired him, and they're charging him. They're not playing no games. Now, this is what people want, though. When, when something like this happens, when a cop does something crazy, obviously, people want justice. They want justice. This is the justice they be talking about. Now, if they just did this every time, right, it would give a lot less leverage to people that want to use police killings, which don't even happen a lot. They want to use that as uh, as fuel for their agenda, right? Especially when it's election season. So this Sagamon, Sangamon County, they did good. They did good. They did it quick. It was very obvious. And they got him up out of there. Boy, Ben Crump be making bread, boy. Every time there's a shooting like this, he's he's on it. Ben Crump, the noted civil rights attorney who was representing Mason's family, told the crowd at a funeral that the video revealed a crime as startling as 1955 lynching of Chicago t teenager Emmett Till in Mississippi. It's gonna shock the conscience of America. It is that senseless, that necessary, that unjustifiable, that unconstitutional. If Sarah's deputy is twice as large as Sonya, why would he have used a gun to shoot her in that? Yeah, this is a big white dude. He looks like, honestly, he looks like a typecasted like like imagine a show or movie that has like that 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 jock white dude. He's kind of a dickhead. Like think about Euphoria, the one crazy white boy in Euphoria, whatever his name was. And that's what he reminded me of. That type. He's that type. Look like he probably played football in, in high school, or whatever. But you know, now it's the real world. Now he's just a dickhead that became a police officer, maybe because he wanted just. You know, that's what he thought he was the best thing that he could do. But he obviously don't care about people if this is what he been doing. But hey man, that's the video, you know. Um, I, I, I don't think there's gonna be any more updates to this case except for to see if he gets charged or not, which he more than likely will. He got fired from his job. Um, you know, the police did a good job in taking accountability. They probably still gonna get sued though because how'd he get hired? What, what's his past looking like? Um, yeah, Ben Crump gonna get that money, boy. But I hope that the media and the Democrats aren't gonna try to use this as like fuel against whoever for their own agendas. Cause that's gonna be really distasteful. A lady died for no reason. A lady that was obviously struggling with maybe some mental health, like her people said. And she just got killed because she asked for help and they killed her. I don't want, I, I hope that doesn't get used, like taken advantage of. You know what I'm saying? But it probably will be. <sighs> hey. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video. My camera about to turn off. That big the overheat uh, logo came on. Symbol came on. But I'll see you on the next video. Appreciate y'all for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, and join the notification squad. Hit the notification bell down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.